Hello world, I'm here to demo my web MIDI conductor JavaScript open source library and I have a free game to play that comes with the library. Uh, it's a wall ball pong-esque game and here I have my Yamaha piano and it has a MIDI USB cord that's plugged in directly to my Samsung phone as you can see here. And if you want to get started into the game, what you could do is go to my website, Web MIDI Conductor, um, right here at pauljunoengineer.com slash Web MIDI Conductor. So what you can see is that it'll resize for the mobile when you flip it. And before I get right into the game, um, it has some in introduction uh, instructions here and um, it can, tell you about how when you play with the paddle the pitch goes up and down uh, on the piano or with voice uh, live audio and it'll cause the paddle to move up and down and you have to knock that ball down uh, across the court and hitting that wall to break it down eventually so you could score and then um, you can score some extra points that's 10 points if you score and then if you um, have the chords played within the designated scale, like C major, for example, or whatever they have had uh, chosen, then you can get three points for doing um, triads or four points for doing seventh chords and you can choose uh, different scales. Um, and um, before I jump into the game, I will just highlight some more of the site. So here we have the uh, thanks page and then a big shout out to this guy Dante Harrell. He's a um, long time best friend growing up and a long time friend and he was my music consultant on this project and he uh, is a New York based uh, city based teaching artist and you can email him if you want to get some um, private lessons. Really great guy. Can't say enough about him. Huge help on this. And then Stephen Lambert was this dude that offered this free pong game. Uh, JavaScript I adopted and it was um, free to use so huge shout out to him and some inspirational video I saw that got me started on this web MIDI um, journey and then if you want to check out my repo you can go here for the free code it's open source it's licensed um, so you can make additions uh, update to it or make your own games and if you want you can always uh, buy me a cup of coffee to keep me caffeinated because I certainly need it when I'm making these types of games. Probably need it now, as you can probably tell. So this is the repo. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate this real quick so you can get to this repo and you can check out the, the what, what ha there is to offer um, here and you can click the, to play the game from the repo itself. And then the rules, like I described earlier, playing up or down the pitch, cause the paddle to move up or down. Paddle, it'll shrink if you don't play within the designated scale. So if you choose C major, and then you play one of these black keys that aren't in the C major, then uh, that paddle should shrink on you to help you um, know where to play. And then those triads and seventh chords are three and four points respectively. I use some coloring to help me like learn circle of fifths. So the walls um, will change its color based on what scale and key you play in. So C major will be red or A minor is red, um, E major or C sharp minor is green and G sharp or uh, major or F minor is blue and circle of fifths there to help you, which is super important. If you don't know about it, uh, it's probably good to learn. Um, yeah. Without getting too much detail, you guys can read through it. And then if you don't have a piano or you don't want to use your voice, you can always plug this. Uh, you could use your computer. And I made a keyboard um, mapping. So it's like a piano on your computer keyboard. You can always, uh, as well, once you play this, you can always go here to buy me a cup of coffee. And this is where I'll be putting some shared links for all my uh, open source stuff. So if you guys like it, you can just... Um, Throw me some caffeine and tell me how you like the game. 
And then the thanks I went over already. So let's get to the game already. You guys are probably bored out of your minds. So thanks for indulging me this far. So let's get started. I'm going to actually go through. You click on the screen like it says. I am going to enable live audio here. So I have my um, microphone plugged into my phone. And I'm going to have it set to the C major scale. Um, I could hit cancel and it would default to that. But I'm going to hit OK so you guys know what you, the interaction would look like. And then it's going to be. Um, choosing C there, and then I'm going to choose the major. You can choose natural minor, melodic minor, harmonic minor. That's why I have it detecting right now. You can scale it out to uh, have more scales. And then I'm going to make the text a little bigger. And you're probably like, wow, this is a horrible, horrible UI. Well, yeah, I, I spent all this time doing JavaScript for the, um, for the piano game. So yeah, it is bad UI. I acknowledge that completely. And it's going to make it so that it'll take, uh, let's make it like three hits to break down the wall. Oh, three, not E, three. And we see here, oh, it's detecting all that cool stuff. And then it reads all my voice in real time and tells me exactly what uh, notes I'm playing and it'll shrink if I'm not on the right scale. So if you're really going to use this to train your voice, um, maybe I'd have to ask Dante if that's actually a legitimate use case. Um, but you can see as I go uh, higher in pitch or lower in pitch, um, the paddle will move up and down kind of uh, sporadically. So let's see here if I can do something a little better. Wow, that was a crappy whistle, and it, I have yet to hit the damn ball. I'm not going to put my vocal cords super high up. You guys can imagine and play with it yourself, but um, chords are not detected as the live audio is going. So as you can see here, the notes are playing. Oh, I hit it. Woo. All right. And yeah, never mind. I really shouldn't do the high pitch thing. <laughs> it's going to embarrass me. So no chords are playing um, because it's single note at a time. Interpolation, interpretation, whatever, in whatever it is. You get it, hopefully. So now I'm going to do hopefully a little better now with the piano. So click in there. I'm not going to enable live audio this time. I'm just going to cancel because I already walked you guys through that and making this a little bit bigger for my tiny little eyes. Uh, I wear a Coke bottle glasses. My eyesight is terrible. So it's from all this programming. I love it. And I can't type to save my life. And then here we go. Hitting OK. OK, so let's see if I can do a little better. see as I go up and down the scale I'm doing a little better oh am I even recording my fingers okay wow okay this is weird I have to look two places at once to see how I can beat ah almost got it ah damn it okay let me try and do some scales here oh C major triad that's cool and then minor triad. Ooh. What was that? What chord was that? A minor? Oh, oh, I beat it. Okay. So that this dude, Paul, I guess that's me saying congrats on breaking down the wall. Oh, such an inspirational message here. May you break down all the walls that impede you and click OK to see more. Oh, that's my shameless plug again to buy me a cup of coffee. Apparently I can't get enough. And there you go. 
Alright guys, uh, I hope that was fun. Hope you guys enjoy it, and if you guys make your own game, let me know. I am publishing this because I really want you guys to make some really cool things. I'm sure you guys can do a lot better job than this. So let me know. Keep it open, keep it public. Bye.